Hey everyone, uh, Cody Grismer here from Thor Mining. Uh, we're contracted here at uh, Mosaic K2 for uh, supervision, amongst other things. Anyway, the reason for this video is I was asked to put something together for a risk reduction on uh, Hilti gun and pole. So this is a standard uh, Hilti DX351, a uh, very common Hilti gun. Um, see them all the time underground in potash mines. Um, now, I'm sure most of you guys have seen them being used and how they operate. Uh, however, this is a little bit different scenario. So, uh, I've got some yellow shot here. Uh, you can use green, yellow, or red, whatever you choose. Uh, usually, potash, you want to stick with uh, green and yellow. Oftentimes, red hits too hard and it'll break the salt. Um, these are a umbrella-style washer on a standard Hilti nail. Uh, this one's just being pushed through, and I'll explain that in a bit. And uh, this is how they come normally. Uh, this is, I believe, a 30 mil washer. Um, the holster for the Hilti gun. The Hilti gun will sit in there like so. And this strap comes around, of course, to hold it in place. Now these poles here, uh, this is a three foot pole or one meter, I believe, whichever you want to go with. Uh, this will screw on to the holster itself for an extension to reach up into higher back somewhere where you can't get to or you don't want to work off of a ladder just to eliminate that hazard. Uh, here's the handle. This is uh, how you will uh, set, off of you, set off your shot. Excuse me. And uh, you can either put this right onto the holster like this or you can attach it to the three foot pole for a farther extension. You can get one foot extensions. There's multiple things for this for uh, usability. Anyway, uh, I'm going to pause the video here and I'll set it up and shoot in a few with the Bratis and show you guys how this works exactly. Thanks. Okay guys, we're back here. Uh, just going to grab this here. Uh, so like I said, this nail here, I just pushed it through by hand. Um, they usually come with the washer near the end of the nail for the reason of not poking you and that's just how they're designed. However, when you're putting in one for holding up Bratis, it's oftentimes the best to push the nail through and I'll show you exactly why here. So I'm using yellow shot like I said earlier. Uh, this back here is about 10, 10 feet or so. Obviously a little too high to reach by hand. We'll give her a go. So as you can see here, nail, I just push it through the bratis by hand. Put it onto the end of the hilti gun and without the use of the ladder. Bratis is in place. Obviously, we need to continue with that bratis like so. So we can grab just the nail on its own. Don't have to push it through. Hopefully, this bratis allows you to see this. We can just kind of grab the bratis, lift it up. A little bit tricky here. it into place. Continue going as you need. Uh, I guess I could have showed you for curvatures like that you can just push the nail through again in that washer and push it up into uh, notches and stuff to have a form-fitting uh, bratis just so you've got a tight seal. These work really well in refuge stations uh, in particular rather than a spad gun. The time saving and energy saving when you're going into refuge is a huge benefit. Um, anyone who's been in refuge before knows that the last thing you want to do is burn up your energy and your water because you may be there for a while. So if you're putting up a secondary seal, by far these things are uh, the way to go. And uh, at the end of the day, it may save your life. Also, keeps guys off ladders and prevents shoulder injuries from a standard spad gun. So, hope you like the video. Cheers.